Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we did some classes and we did some side stuff, but today we are going to Hogsmeade and we are getting my damn wand. I honestly don't know what else has in store for us today, but I'm just excited to go. And I believe we're going with Sebastian, which I know Kat over here is very excited for. So yeah, let's just jump back into the game. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Yes, please. This is your first foray into the village. It is it my is. first foray. I left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Thank you, good Hogsmeade's sir. It's a charming little place, self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need, shall we? Hopefully. Oh my gosh, the courtyard. How have we not even been here yet? Or is this Hogsmeade? This has to be the courtyard. I don't think it's Hogsmeade. Whoa. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. Well, I kind of That's asked right. Professor Weasley, you, but... Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. As you should. I'm gonna beat your ass. I love how we run Speaking together. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. <laughs> my grandma. That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Well... You spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. It seems Cat likes a bad boy. Do we have to run? Can we just walk? I don't want to run. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Oh, yeah? You're welcome. Be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Oh, my God, That's Sebastian. Weasley came to retrieve me. And I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. I mean, you did technically have somewhere to be, so... I like your vibe, Sebastian. I like the vibes. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. Yeah, that's definitely it. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Fair point. Oh, just one moment. What's going on? This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Hmm. Collect. Hello, flowers. What's that noise? Oh my god, that's like triggering. What is that noise? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You know what it reminds me of? If any of you guys played Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, I'll play the clip of these little freaking freaks. <laughs> It's literally triggering for me. From a child to now, I cannot hear that sound without freaking out. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What? What's going on? See for yourself. Ooh. Quite a sight, isn't it? What are those? You don't see that every day. Pegasuses? Pegasuses? The Pegasuses or Pegasuses? Pegasus? Oh, a hippogriff. Duh. <laughs> of course. I'm an idiot. Forbidden Forest. Oh. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. You want to go there? Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you could see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. We could go there, like, right now. Like, it's just right there. I mean, we just, we just, we just real quick. You wanna, you wanna, oh my gosh, look at my cape. Is it raining out a little? Yeah, and it's wet. Ugh. I just love little details like this, how it's wet out and my my cloak is a little wet. I love it. All right, let's go. Let's go, Sebastian. I'm getting distracted. This looks so pretty. Sebastian, look at the view. Why are you trying to run away? Uh, okay. All right, fine. I'm ready to go. Should I you kill those bitches? Chance to explore the castle. Hello. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Yeah. Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. It's a it's a tough one. You're asking a tough question here, Sebastian. I lied to Grandma. I, can't, I have to lie to you. I have, I have to lie to everyone. Festrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. You see them. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Yeah. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Well, it definitely will be considering I have ancient magic and I'm the main character of the story. Are we at Hogsmeade yet? I think this is a far... 
Kitty. Pet. Pet, pet, pet. Every time. Pet every time. I want my own. I haven't forgotten. Also, oh frick, what was the name? I watched the video back and I remember the name of the cat. It was, it was Sam Meowl. It's gonna be my cat's name. Sam Meowl. And I remember it now very clearly and I'll never forget again. Ooh, look at the nature. Who needs to be outside when you have video games, quite frankly? Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Oh. <laughs> Looks a bit worse for wear. I thought, I was like, where's the moon? Hello, Mr. Moon. I was about to say hi to the moon up there, but it was just a person. Hello, Hello that. Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, Pleasure. You might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Run? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. <laughs> Ugly and airy and mm. terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Are you a little drunk, sir? Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice. And he's obviously had too much of it. Just a bit. Just I've a bit, Sebastian. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. He's just having a good time. He's living his best life. Mr. He's Mr. off the Moon clock. To the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. He's fine. Oh, Were you a sister? He's a sister in Slytherin too. She is. Or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. <laughs> Or maybe she'll die. Maybe she won't come back. Just thinking realistically here. Hogsmeade! Let's go. Why do we always have to be running? I just want to walk. Ugh. Oh, I can't just walk. Okay. Wow, great outfits. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. There is something we about Hogsmeade. We flock to it like moths to a flame. Because it's a town, you know? It's a cute little town. I love it. I love your pantaloons, sir. Where did you get them? I love the color. Oh. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits? Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new one. Me too. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Okay. Well then, Remember. goodbye. Have fun. It's Hogsmeade. <laughs> okay, I will. So I need to go... I think I just... You know what? I think we just circle around the whole thing and just look around. I don't know. It's telling me places I need to go, but I'm just gonna go where I want. Hello. An inquiring mind. An inquiring mind is indeed me. It's in here. Hello. Interact. Oh. Oh. Whoa. A book did that. I don't know why. Can I go up there? Can I snoop and not even talk to you? I just want to snoop in your house and just steal all your things. That thing? What the hell? What is that? No idea. Chest. Give me your stuff. Gray nightcap. Ooh, now I can sleep soundly. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. Nice to I meet you. I you've had a conjuring lesson then. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, oh. but you will I I soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spell crafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. I think I already That's have. Something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. I think I already and have. I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. I can do that? But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Let's look at what we have, shall we? So I can customize and get furniture? That's all I ever needed in life. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. I think I need both of them, right? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, seeing as I have literally zero dollars, I'm gonna have to pass. Unless you'd like to give it up for free. Put your hands up. I ain't fucking around. All right, I won't rob you today. Goodbye, sir. Okay, let's see what we want to do next. That was pretty easy. I definitely want to go to the salon. I just saw these scissors and I was like, salon? I want to change my hair 10 million times a day. I do that in real life and I do it in video games. So we need to go to Ollivander's fish chisel. I kind of want to do Ollivander's last, you know, build up the <laughs> suspense. So let's go to Pippin's potions and then magic neep. And wait, neep? Is that about animals? Cat? Do I get a cat there? But let's just lollygag, honestly. Let's get distracted, which is my specialty. What's in there? Level 11? <laughs> Level 11? I'm only freaking three! 
Jeez, this is kind of rough, honestly. Talking about politics up in here. Not all goblins are bad, sir. Well, I haven't really met a really nice goblin. I did meet the one that helped us at the bank, but then there was that really mean one, so. <gasps> Cat, oh wait, that's a rat. <gasps> Come back, rat. Oh, I could also go for a rat as my pet, but I, th I think it has to be a cat. It's named Sammy Owl. Ooh, oh, I just chop some wood. Did I do that with my wand? Shut up. Hold on. Wizards are so lazy. Can they just do anything for themselves with peace and love? Jesus. Is that a level three lock? I have a level three, right? Or is that level 111? Because if it's 111, yikes. That's rough. That actually might be a level 111. Is that easy? Sounds rough to get to. Can I drink that? <gasps> I'm getting drunk. Let's get lit, gamers. Underage drinking for the win. I like that I could just walk around and do things, like interact with things, like randomly. I really need that in games, like just to be able to do whatever I want, interact with whatever I want. Ah, I need to be here. Perfect. Oh. Sorry, I did not mean to uh Welcome to Jay Pippin's pushing. Do that. Hello there, Jay Pippins. What's in your chest? I would take your stuff. Ooh, a long coat. Ooh, should I change? Ooh, I look so classy. Uh, I'm gonna stick with my robe for now, just because you know I am a student doing student things. <laughs> Hello, Jay Pippins. Perry Pippins, sorry. Oh, did not mean to kill you. Why do I always want to left click on everything? I don't know. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is Jay Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. Nice. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. Yep. I set that your things me. aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Yeah, it I would. the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones mm. from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Okay. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yep, please and thank you. Gonna get lit off some potions. Do? Let's go. Oh, they're just recipes? <sighs> Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Bro, I got zero dollars. Time if you're in a rush today. I'm not in a rush. I just have no money. Zero dollars. I'm poor. Not a dollar to my name. All right, let's go visit the magic meat. I don't know where I'm going. I just hope I'll stumble upon it someday. <gasps> Can I pet you? It's a crime that I can't pet you. A damn shame. <gasps> Die! Oh, I don't like that. I want to loot. Let me loot you. What are these? Sheep's goats. Probably some dumbass name that J.K. Rowling came up with instead of freaking sheep. Oh, These are probably not chickens either. It's probably kickens. These are kickens, not chickens. That's probably a neep, not a sheep. It probably is a neep. Oh my god, is that what this means? The magic neep? Is that about these? Are those neeps? If I find out that those things are called neeps, I'm gonna lose it. Because JK will be getting a written letter from my lawyer saying copyright, honestly. I came up with that, not her. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. You, you got know, Merlin's beard. Fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Hell yeah. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? True. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Sounds great. But can you answer Let my question? Guess. What is a neat? Can I talk to you about that? Is it the sheep? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Please stop. I don't have any money. I'm sick of people telling me to do things when I don't have money. Zero dollars to my name, sir. This is classist. Also, what is a neat? Can I talk to you? What is a neat? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. I'll never know. What's in here? <gasps> 
I got six dollars to my name! And I stole it from this nice gentleman! Uh, let's go gamers, we're rich! We could get six McNuggies with that. Hello, Hicken, not chicken. Hello, lol, not bull. Why can he pet him and I can't? This game lets you pet only cats, but you can't pet anything else and it's kind of bullshit. Can you guys tell me what a neep is? Anyone? Anyone? I'm gonna use my friend who's a Harry Potter encyclopedia and she will tell me. And I'll keep you guys updated. This is like the most important thing in the whole series now, is to find out what a neep is. Let's go to Ollivander's now, I think. As long as I don't get distracted. But what is over here? Her hair look- no, it looks like shit. I was thinking maybe I want that hair color, but it looks just as bad as my hair color, honestly. Blondes cannot have fun in this game, I'll tell you that much. You're gonna look like you have a mop on your head, and that's the truth. Where am I? Who is this? Hello? I'd like to tell you about your car's extended warranty! Oh, no one's here. <gasps> $58?! Guys, I'm so rich now. I have money to my name. Respect! Bag? <gasps> One more dollars? Dude, someone just abandoned this house and left all their money here, their whole life savings. And now it is my life savings. <gasps> yes. I'd love a job at Gringotts if I didn't have to take one of those rickety carts around the place. <laughs> Nearly vomited first time I rode one. <laughs> when you find a good opportunity, it's wise to seize it with both hands. <laughs> Whatever my task, I can console myself knowing that some soul out there. Okay, I feel like I'm getting really off the beaten path right now, so I am gonna go to Ollivander's. I need to be able to beat some asses with some new wands, you know what I'm saying? I'm going too far off the trail. What's this? Brood and Peck. Ugh. Is that animal? Wait a minute. That looks like an animal. Hold on. No. Let me in. This is where I get my animal. I feel it. There was a cage right there. There's animals in the door. It's called Brood and Peck. I'll be back for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll just take a swim. <laughs> I didn't even know I could swim in this game. Now I'm gonna be all wet. Need to dry off real quick. Honey Dukes, aww. <sighs> Go get your wand. Don't get distracted. Stop, stop, there's too much to look at. I can't stop. Uh, why do I wanna go anywhere but where I'm supposed to go? I love running into people. Ooh, they're like, ooh, ow. <laughs> I hit it all. Ah, there he is. Hello, Ollivander. Ooh, let's do it. Nice, nice. 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 Can you guys see any countries on there? I can't see. On the vander. Oh, I was gonna do it with I'll my right hands. With... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Honestly, yes, yeah. About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. I have actually it's heard a lot. A pleasure to meet you, truly. Pleasure now, to meet you. Come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Yes, please. Mm, uh, um, ah, yes. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Ooh. Here, give this one a try. Okay. Well, go ahead, swish. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh! Ooh. Oh, dear. That did not quite go well. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? It is not. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not Give to me something with a little bit more pizzazz, Ollivander. No, not you. Uh, a little bit of some suave. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Hmm. Let's give this one a try. Ooh, that one does look pretty sick, actually. Oh, well, that didn't really quite go well, <laughs> did it? Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. That one wants to break free, uh, that's for sure. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, there you are. I feel like this is the one. Third time's a charm, all right, gamers? I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ooh, okay, cool. I get to pick my own. I guess I get to my wand. Okay, this is what I need. 
I want, okay, so it says, the hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of a wand known for producing consistent magic. Dragon heartstring. A dragon heartstring that serves as the core of the wand known for producing powerful magic. Phoenix feather, the feather of a phoenix that serves as the core of the wand capable of producing a great range of magic. So it's like consistent, powerful, great range. Definitely a going powerful. Dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Y'all, I'm struggling. I can't commit to anything. I do like the black spiral. That is a cool looking wand. I think I'm pretty committed to the black wand or a gray, like a light gray. But I almost, I like the idea of a black one more, I think. I'm almost liking just the, the spiral, the spiral black. I think it's gonna be the spiral and black. That's the one that's calling my name. I'm going for it. And I can make it longer. I like, I don't really care. Oh, was it at? I think it was this one. I don't mind that, that sounds good. Wood type, I don't know. What does each one type do? Ooh, I, maybe I just get to pick it for funsies. Okay, let's look. Arcadia, alder, apple, ash, aspen, beech. Beech? What's my favorite tree? I don't know if I have opinions on trees. Flexibility, hard. Quite bendy, fairly bendy, very flexible, quite flexible. Surprisingly swishy. How swishy. Slightly springy. Supple. <laughs> what are these words? Reasonably supple. <laughs> Whippy. <laughs> Pliant. Brittle. Hard. Solid. Stiff. Rigged. Unbending, slightly yielding, unyielding. I like the idea of it being whippy. I like whippy, and I also like, what was it? Surprisingly, ugh. okay, it's gonna be surprisingly swishy, I think. <laughs> surprisingly swishy, 12 and three quarters. What type? Beach? What does a beach tree look like? I'm gonna look it up. Oh, it's not a tree, it's a plant. Well, I guess trees are plants. <laughs> hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? You know what? I'm live laugh loving for this beach tree. So we're going with the beach tree, okay? And my wand shall be named beach. So we got dragon heartstring. We got beach tree, 12 and three quarter inches, surprisingly swishy. We got soft spiral black. And I think that is it. Let's get it gamers. What do you think? I love it. Extraordinary. Another Hell one, yeah. Another beginning of a bright and magical future. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, how did that feel? Amazing. Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. Me and Beach are going to gonna take out. over the world. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. My BFF. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you, Ollivander. I appreciate oh, that's it. everything. Better go and find Sebastian. All right, let's go find Sebastian and give him my new wand. <laughs> Ooh, I feel way more powerful with you, Beach. Let's beat these beaches up. Hello there, Sebastian. You want to see Beach? My new wand? I officially have all of my supplies. I do. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Sounds good. Oh. Oof, that's a big yikes. This is a big yikes. Who brought you here? Oof. Draw it away from the building. Okay, away Ruth. Okay, okay. I can take him, I think. I can take him. First day of class, I can take him. No! Ah! Ah, it's control, control, control. Which one's control? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that was to roll out of the way. Oh, barrel rolling. Okay, I got it. Ah. Oh, did you see that? Did you see my roll? I forgot how to attack. I forgot everything. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, are you okay? Wait, Protego, Protego, Protego. I forgot how to use it. I forgot how to use it. I forgot how to use it. Ah! Ancient magic, bro. Okay. That. I don't know. A taste of his own medicine. Oof. I forgot how to use any attacks. Okay, hold on, hold on. I want to know how to attack. Let me just look at my handy dandy notes here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I fell. Dude, if we take down. Oh, as I fall. 
If we take the- oh, Jesus, I'm about to die. How do I heal? H? Oh god. I didn't realize I was that close to dying, gamers. Oh, Jesus! Chill! Jesus! Oh my god. G, 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 pop it, pop it, pop it. Oh, Jesus. I just need a second! Just a second! Just a second! Can you just give me a sec? Oh my god, I'm using all my potions! Chill! Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oof. Goodness, a second troll. I took did him down clean. A fully grown troll by yourselves. I did in I fact do that. So. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? I'm doing good. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. I don't know what that if means. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And oh, thank you. thank you, Ruth. I'll call you Ruth. Oh, bye, Ruth. So, Sebastian, that was uh, quite the journey we just went on, huh? Oh, hello there. A moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. We can both go see what he wants. What do you want? Hello? Okay, all right. This is kind of awkward. Guess I'll just go. Repair the damage by myself. Not like I just didn't do all the freaking brunt of the work anyway. Sebastian, how are you get your lazy bone out here and help me instead of doing whatever you're lollygagging? All right, everything is back to new. Easy peasy. No thanks to you, Sebastian. I got all this done. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Oh? I do like to hear praises about me, so... Hello. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. Oh. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. And not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. Oh, thank you. I was you. happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I could offer you something much more useful. Clothes, perhaps? I own glad rags, wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. Oh. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, you might be I'd right. give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Why would I say no? Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. Of course it's I'm gonna take it. It's the best I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So I can't- I can't get any of these? It says unavailable. Can I only get this one? My schoolwear? That's all I can get? I mean, okay, I guess. Thanks? It looks like the same thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little different. Oh, just look at that. It's the exact same row. <laughs> but thanks, I guess. I'll take it. How about you give me one of these for free? These look way more stylish. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two. Hell yeah. You. Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. It's I'd fine. I'd say that I agree with you. I got Perfect. you. Three broomsticks is just this way. Let's go. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay. I'm sure everyone's going to be drinking after the trauma they just insured. I'll trust that. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Not me just looking and all that. Let's go. They're like, the child is literally right there. Gone, Ralphio? Did they see us? I don't think so. They definitely what was that did. Goblin doing with Victor Rookwood. Who's Victor I'm again? Working with Rookwood. Rookwood. The Victor goblin Rookwood. from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, let's go. Rookwood. Why does that sound familiar? It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You Thanks. Well. Maybe don't just come bursting in. Stop acting so suspicious, guys. Yeah, what can I... Oh, 
There's a face I haven't seen before. Hello there, Gunnar. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thank Thanks you. This one single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. I did. <laughs> no biggie. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. It's because of me, guys. Right. The it's because of me. We usually have to deal with. <laughs> <sighs> Oof, this is awkward. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. M me? My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps mm. you didn't hear me. No. I said... My friend is busy. Yeah, I'm busy, bitch. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Well, to kill you clean right now. I'll have the blood the smear honest. the floor. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. I'll stay here forever if I want. Please and thank you. Rockwood. Why can I not remember him? I feel like he was around. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any oh, troll you might encounter. I remember now. Grandma told me about them and warned me about Trolls? them. Ran Rock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? There's... I don't have to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Yeah. It's kind of a lot, Sebastian Stan. And on it's that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Are we safe to go back to the castle? I feel like we're gonna get jumped. Ooh, let's let's get some drink in us. We're gonna need it. Underage drinking is my favorite kind of drinking. After the day I just had though, <laughs> I deserve it. Hello there, Sebastian. We got a lot to talk about after we get- Oh yeah, I'm also concerned we're gonna get mugged. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Me too. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights, but we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Okay. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Yeah, Don't for Don't want shizzle. to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Sounds good, Governor. All right, let's go back to bed. <sighs> Quest completed. Well, hello, little owl man. Hello, little guy. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we've received an owl post. Professor Fig, come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Sounds great. Well, let's go, shall we? Where are you, Perry? Hello, Perry. Perry the platypus. Not the Niffler. Yeah, I remember the name now. Niffler. That's Perry the platypus for shizzle. Ooh, I haven't been to his classroom yet. Okay, bitch, watch out. Move out the fucking way. Why you look so angry, bitch? Fucking fight me. Beach will take you down. Professor Fig. You see my new wand? Uh huh. Professor, I'm glad to see you. Glad and to see you. you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in hogs. I know. Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade. I know. With Rookwood. This is a lot taken. The trolls taken. were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Oh, yeah, they do. What about the goblins? Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. Mm. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. I know someone who wants to go there. Beyond, I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But, but if what? our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. Hogwarts puts I students at risk all the time. Professor Hecate a bit. 
Before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let All Professor right. Hickett to expect you. I'll try my best. All right, gamers, I think I'm going to go ahead and end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had a lot happen this episode. We had the goblins attacking us. We had the trolls attacking us. Sebastian Stan, we went on a date with him. It went pretty well, I think. My character thinks it went pretty well. Yes, 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 yes. We got our new wand, Beach. I'm so excited about Beach. You have no idea. <laughs> Ready to fight some bitches. Ooh, she, she got angry there. Okay, queen. All right, guys. We'll be back in the next episode. We'll talk to Professor Hecate. And yeah, we'll just see how things go at Hogwarts. All right, it was good to see y'all. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, gamer. Whoa.